Embraer 101, say altitude again. Embraer 101, passing 1 1000. Where are you going? 1 5000. Copy. And Embraer 101, say heading. Embraer 101, maintaining heading 090. Copy that. Embraer 101, need a new heading. Uh, 180, please. Uh, right ahead in 180, Embraer 101. Copy. Real nice looking turn, by the way. So far, so good. Okay. Let's not forget it's a Funnel 102, that helps. So our scenario today, Sydney, is <clears throat> there's a very slow leak in the cabin and the altitude alarm and ACAS alerts will not work today. And you're climbing out out of Aspen. And slowly that cabin is just depressurizing and you won't have the benefit today of automation alert systems and so our scenario is to learn how it affects the body and I call it the body's own built-in altitude horn it's just not as loud and obvious as the one on board the aircraft so we're going to learn that today Embraer 101, say heading. Heading 184, leveling 150. 15,000, I mean. Copy. Embraer 101, say altitude. Heading 15,000. Embraer 101, climb to flight level 19,000. But I want to climb one nine or thousand. One nine or thousand, yep. Embraer 101, we have some traffic in the area. I need a new heading of 170, please. Heading 170, Embraer 101. Say speed. We have 101, nothing 250 knots. Copy. So it's a normal day in the sky. Very good. Beautiful weather out over the beautiful Rockies. What could go wrong? 18 to 19. Copy. Right about here, Sydney, I like to teach trap gases. Lots of times you'll notice your ears are popping more than usual. You may notice that the cabin is cooling. It's not as warm as it was. And you may also notice some bloating in your abdomen. Yes, I felt that. So I felt the depth around the 13 and a half. Copy. Embraer 101, say altitude. Then you want 900,000. Embraer 101, climb and maintain flight level 
zero. Bear one oh one. Climb my thing two two zero. So far so good, John. Come again. Uh, John made uh okay sign it to me and I answered and uh, that that was okay. Oh. Um, it's interesting, I feel a little bit of my shoulders heavy for a while, and uh, maybe it's because of the ergonomics of the throttle and uh, the, uh, the stick, but that's interesting. So, something about your shoulders feeling yes, a little bit heavier. Heavier. Yes. Yeah, that's classic hypoxia. So, let's keep that, <coughs> let's keep that in mind. Okay. Rear 102, what altitude are you going to? 220. Happy. Embraer 101. Say heading. My heading 170. One degree offset, but it's because I'm not that sharp in here. Copy. Embraer 101, we have some traffic in the area. I need a new heading of 270, please. Uh, right heading 270, Embraer 101. Maintain flight level 220. 270 on the head and 220 on the level, Embraer 101. Copy. Heavy shoulders, heavy arms. Feel some... 1 to 21 to 22. You feel some bloating of gas in your abdomen? Uh, uh, I do not feel it, a lot of uh, uh, gases on my abdomen because I had uh, defecated before uh, yes. after lunch. So I Copy. kind of empty. <laughs> Copy that. Sorry for too much information. <laughs> <laughs> More information is always better. Do you notice anything now? Do you notice warmth over your neck yet? Uh, no. Not the way I'm feeling. Okay. I felt before. What do you notice now? Um, difficult on the scanning. Scan. I'm fixating on the heading and I'm reaching the level now. So I try not to overshoot it. Yes. I uh, have the breath. And and what, what, what uh, else? my my uh, speech is getting like a little bit drunk. Copy that. And uh, I'm getting back to 22 and heading to 70. I feel a little bit warm on the back of my head, but it's not that significant. Copy. I feel a little of. Uh, Discomfort on the base of my lungs, like in the spine. Okay, do you feel pressure, discomfort? Yes, a little bit. Okay. Embraer 101, we suspect you've had a cabin depressurization. Don't your mask. Don't your mask. Embraer 101, I cannot hear you, but if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the camera. Now just breathe normal. Embraer 101, you've had a cabin depressurization. This is Denver Center. You are clear to descend to flight level 15,000. Copy that. Really drop that nose. Want to feel like we're going down. ATC has responded to your emergency. They've given you clearance to flight level 15,000. Um, you will hold 15,000 until further clearance. After one minute, <clears throat> my recommendation for you as captain, sir, is to double check everyone else in the cabin and see if their symptoms have gone away and if they are feeling back to normal. I call it cross-checking. Sometimes the masks do not fit properly and the crew member remains hypoxic. So this would actually be a really good time to do a cross-check to make sure everyone's mask system is optimal. <coughs> good job. Last but not least, we went to a very high altitude, so that means you're going to have to equalize your ears a lot, all the way down. Not only yourself, but your entire crew. So as captain, this would be a good time to remind everyone not to ignore pressure in your ears. It's true. It's an emergency. 
there's horns, everyone's excited, and everyone will always forget to equalize their ears. Good job. Once you've leveled off at flight level 15,000, you can put your simulator into pause, and Johnny will bring you the rest of the way down. Good job, Sydney.